Understanding religious practices and rituals. Enrich your English vocabulary. Hello everyone. Welcome to today's lesson on enhancing our English language vocabulary. Today, we are diving into the fascinating world of religious studies vocabulary, with a focus on religious practices and rituals. It's an incredibly rich area of language, filled with unique and interesting terms. So, let's get started. First off, what do we mean by religious practices and rituals? These are the customs, behaviors, and ceremonies that people engage in as part of their religious beliefs. They can range from daily activities to annual events and vary greatly across different religions and cultures. Key terms to remember here are Ritual Religious practice Belief Culture Now, let's explore some specific practices and rituals from various religions. 1. Prayer An intentional communication with a deity or a spiritual entity. 2. Meditation, a practice where individuals use techniques to focus their mind on a particular object, thought, or activity. 3. Fasting, abstaining from all or some kinds of food or drink, usually as a religious observance. 4. Pilgrimage, a journey to a sacred place for religious reasons. In this section, our key vocabulary includes prayer, meditation, fasting, pilgrimage. Now that we have some specific practices and rituals, let's look at how we can describe them using more advanced vocabulary. 1. Sacred. Associated with religious worship or regarded with great respect and reverence. 2. Devout. Showing deep religious feeling or commitment. 3. Sacrament. A religious ceremony or act that is seen as an outward and visible sign of inward and spiritual grace. 4. Secular. Not connected with religious matters. Some key terms to remember are sacred, devout, sacrament, secular. That's all for today's lesson on religious practices and rituals vocabulary. We've delved into the realm of religious studies, discussed a few specific practices, and discovered how to describe them with some advanced English vocabulary. We hope this lesson has given you some insight into this fascinating area of language. Remember, understanding and using this vocabulary can add richness to your English language skills, especially in academic and professional settings. Stay curious, and happy learning!